in the final part of this exam paper, we want to take the data we have exported from FileMaker Pro and insert a table and a chart in our Word document. First, we need to copy the data into a table. So we can select the data in Excel, press Command C to copy, then find our Word document we were working on before and command V pastes. Now a table generally has borders around the cells so let's ensure these can be seen and we need to make sure there's a line above and a line below the table. That's fine. Next we need to go back to the data in Excel. An appropriate charting package here means Excel. And we want to use a lookup function to replace the initials for each staff member with their full name. And that data is found in the file n7staff. So we need to open that file. And we can see here this contains the data we need. We're going to use a lookup function to extract the data from this, this file. Now, a lookup function only works if the data is sorted in alphabetical order. So first we need to select this data, not selecting the field name, just selecting the data to be sorted, and sort it in ascending order. That's fine. Now we leave this open, go back to our original spreadsheet and we want to replace these initials. First let's extract the data that's going to replace it into column D. So we need to create a lookup function and we can use the formula builder to help us do this. Now because the data is arranged vertically we can use the VLOOKUP function. So double click VLOOKUP and using the formula builder it's very easy. The value we're looking up is this cell here, CP, and the value we're looking up is in the other spreadsheet. So we go to our other sheet, select the table here again, and the data we want to extract is in the second column in this table, so column index number 2. And that completes our formula, so we press enter, and we can see we have successfully extracted the data. Then click in the corner and fill down, and we've successfully extracted all the staff names. Now we can copy this, command C, because we want to replace the initials with the full names. Now we can't directly paste because that will paste the formula, so we need to right click, paste special, paste values. And then we can clear the contents of column C because they are no longer valid. And we can close formula builder. Next we want to create a vertical bar chart showing the staff names and the number of transactions. Remember the number of transactions is shown in column C here. Column B is the total sales. So we select the names, hold down command and select the total number of sales. Then to create a chart, click on charts. A vertical bar chart basically means a column chart, column graph. So let's choose the first one here. And here we have our vertical bar chart that shows the staff names, it shows the number of transactions. We don't want a legend, so I can click on the legend and delete it. We want to add a title. So click chart layout, chart title above the chart. We want to label the x-axis
and the Y axis. And we don't actually need to save this chart because we can directly copy and paste into Word. So to copy and paste, we select the whole chart by clicking on the side of the chart, Command-C, and the next step asks us to paste or import it into, into the Word document in the position here. So command V pastes, and we can see this doesn't look terribly nice because the font size is a little too large. So if we can select the title, let's reduce the font size. Similarly with the axis labels, Let's increase the vertical height of the chart to make it a little nicer looking. That's fine. Now, there is one blank line above the chart, there's one blank line below the chart. Our next step is to spell check and proofread the document. To spell check, we can start at the beginning click Tools, Spelling and Grammar, check Grammar should not be selected because we're just doing a spelling check. And first word found here we can see that is a spelling mistake. Committee should have two T's, so click Change, and the spelling check is complete. Now we need to make sure tables do not overlap two, ta two pages or columns. So if we check through the document our tables are OK. The chart does not overlap two columns, that's OK. The list is not split, that's OK. Now there should be no widows or orphans. That means single lines by themselves, either at the top or the bottom of a page or a column. And looking through, there are are none, so that's fine. There are no blank pages, there's no extra page at the end, that's okay. So finally we just save the document, file with a new file name so we can save as, give it a new name, complete, save, and finally file print, we can print it out and submit it. And that's the end of the exam. Goodbye.